Hey guys, welcome to this video. This is going to be a very, very different video. We've got something interesting. We got the arrival of this new book to do a Supergirl. We're going to be going through it. It's like Kara's journal. I think there's some very interesting stuff, some like behind the scenes stuff, you know, some things maybe they didn't mention on the TV show that is very exciting. And I wanted to show it to you guys today. I'm not going to show you every page of the book, so go get it yourself. But I'm just pointing out like the specific pages I want to talk about. So let's go ahead and do this. Okay. So I'm just going to place the camera here. And so hopefully the microphone quality is pretty good. Okay. So this is what we're going to do. As you can see, I've got a load of uh, sort of bookmarks. Well, not bookmarks, just like paper marks. But this is the book. It's The Secret Files of Cara Danvers and it's confidential so you can get this on amazon right now and i guess other bookstores and whatever wherever you can it's quite thick if you can see it's a lot of pages i've read through it all already so excited to talk about it so let's look over so this is very different from what i've done in the past basically like i've done nothing like this so let's go to the first page actually before we go to my bookmarks. Okay, so here is how it goes. So it starts like this is my name is Kara Zorel, but that's not the name most people recognize me. To my family and friends, I'm Kara Danvers, a reporter at Ketco Worldwide Media in National City. To the rest of the world I'm known only as Supergirl. The book you hold in your in your hands is my personal account of my life as a superhero. It's a scrapbook of sorts, a way for me to see how far I've come from the little scared girl rocketed to Earth from her dying planet, Krypton. If you're reading this, I'm trusting you with my most valued secrets, my most important memories. I have a responsibility to this city and the people I care about, and now you share that responsibility. So, you can read it, obviously, in depth when you get the book for yourself but for now we're going to flick through and probably take this thing off because it's kind of a little bit getting in the way and oh I just lost the bookmark but let's go to my first bookmark and this was the first page I opened to when I opened the book and it's super sad look at it look right there anyway we'll talk about it so we'll talk about you know the specific pages I want to talk about and so the rocket ship so 35 years ago Krypton teetered on the verge of destruction my aunt Lara and Uncle jor decided to send the son Kal to Earth and the rocket ship to save his life my parents did the same for me and so he she never got the chance to see kal basically and so as you can see from this photo Obviously, this is in relation to the rocket ship, and Kara talks about it here. So, my mother gave me this necklace as something to remember her by. Years later, I gave it to someone special to me. Few things remind me more of home. So, who is it that I gave it to someone special to me? Have a guess. Right there. Very, very sad. Alright, so let's move on to my next bookmark. So this is this page. This is sort of like her first diary entry. So here it is. Dear diary, my English isn't great yet. I didn't have much time to study it back on Krypton. It's one thing to memorize this weird alphabet. It's actually, it's another to actually get my hand to form these letters. I miss Kryptonese. I miss a lot of things. So essentially, that is like one of her first sort of diary entries. So it's supposed to all be like an insight into Kara's mind. Obviously, I guess they did this information liaisoning on, or like liaising, I think that's how you say it, with, you know, the, the people behind Supergirl, but obviously it's not like 100% like, I guess, what they wanted. So let's move on to the next bit, skip a bit. Uh, so James Olsen, so we see his uh, Pulitzer Prize photo, you can see it there. And so, I figured he would be some scrawny kid with red hair and freckles or something, which is a nice little 
sort of relation to the comics because that's who G- Jimmy Olsen is in the comics and uh, I couldn't have been more wrong not to sound superficial but the James Olsen I met put every lead actor in a soap opera to shame true that there was an instant spark between us or at least I hope there was that didn't turn out very well did it all right so let's move on to the next bit I want to go to and this is this bit so this is her looking through like uh, costumes and like talking about how wind designed everything so um surprisingly enough wind has a background in design he came up with plenty of concepts for my super suit some of which would have been better off staying in his imagination this is something i'd even wear no, this is not something I'd even wear to the beach win. True, that. Then this one, with the glasses still on, you remember that. And then, same suit. Sorry, there's a bit of shine. But no House of Elf symbol. And then, she adds the cape and she's got the symbol. So, very, very nice. And it just sort of, as you can see, there's a lot of writing and stuff that we can go through. But I'm going to leave that to you to properly go through it when you get the book. Right, let's move on to the next bit. So I just wanted to bring this page up because obviously you got Astra and Non and Mandrax and stuff. But w- this specific thing, we haven't been here in ages. They, I missed that because that was in the original Flash crossover with Supergirl. That was that specific room in Catco they had. I love that room. And so uh, Wynn created this office and converted it to something else and yeah so i just thought i would bring that up because i like that place all right let's move on and maxwell lord who remembers him so there's like a whole page on him and so you know what he did but the main reason i why i wanted to bring this page up is because you know it, it really goes deep into supergirl's history because we haven't seen him since season one all right, let's move on to the next bit. And there's some actual really interesting bits later, like a lot to do with Monel. Like there's some new reveals and uh, yeah, different scenes. Basically, we didn't get too much to talk about. So um, this is talking about her being a human for a day, and so yeah, it's like a essential like diary entry. And so this bit is like, if you remember when she lost her powers, she broke her arm and things like that. So, yeah, it's all about her and James actually, you know, helping each other and being together. And so then we have Bizarro. So it got like a full medical report, which I found very interesting reading. And I don't know, you can take a screenshot or just wait until you buy it. But um, yeah. Very interesting, and also because we got Red Daughter coming up, I thought I'd bring that up because it's very, very bizarro like Red Daughter, but obviously not in the same sort of way, just a different way. Okay, so then we come to the Flash Supergirl crossover where we get Barry, obviously, right here, and so there's like a sort of alias Bartholomew, Henry Allen, uh, the Streak unofficial which is funny um and then powers and abilities home worlds weaknesses and everything like supergirl and barry together and lots of different writings but there's like the explanation barry did so <laughs> earth where the nazis win or it's full of talking animals or something so yeah just a really nice page sort of just calling back to the original time the flash and supergirl met and let's move on so next page we got the introduction of maggie sawyer i thought this was interesting like a load of text messages between uh alex and maggie so hey mags if this is gonna focus we uh, i don't think it's gonna focus but anyway you can sort of read it Hey Mags, what do you want? What makes you think I want anything? Can't I just text my girlfriend when I'm feeling lonely? No, you definitely want something. You only call me Mags when you're asking for a favour. I really don't appreciate that tone. There's no tone. This is a text, you can't hear my tone. A tone is a tone. Okay, fine, what's up? Dot dot dot. Could you pick up 
a pint of ice cream on your way over. I knew it. What? I knew you wanted something. So what's so hard? No on the ice cream. Sigh. What flavour? So, you know, it just really is kind of energetic and fun. And, you know, it goes through Maggie and it goes through, you know, her introduction and stuff like that. And so I believe on the next page we have Monel. This is exciting. So we have the first time Monel sort of was introduced, you know, him telling that fake origin, but, you know, just a bit twisted. So Daxon was destroyed by debris from Krypton's own destruction. What I didn't know at the time was that Monel was a prince from his home world sent to Earth thanks to a faithful th friend. When Monel originally crash landed here on a Kryptonian pod, we understandably mistook him for one of my people. And so we see like his alias, Mike Matthews, you know, Monel is right there, his powers and abilities. So he's able to leap long distances, enhance dur endurance, speed agility, durability, accelerated healing, and so on. And his weakness is lead. He's from Daxum. And it took a bit about the history with his mum and things like that. Alright, so this is probably one of my favourite pages. There's a few of my favourite pages. And so we get the application for employment at CatCo from <clears throat> from Mike Matthews, you know, Mono. So I don't know if you can properly see it, but, you know, I think that's the best I can do. Last name, Matthews. First name, Mike Date. Sure, why not? Street address. I'm very interested in getting out of one of these. City. National city. State. Earth. Earth is the state, right? Zip. This is a personal question. It feels like a personal question. You guys get that. Phone. I tried, but Daxon was, like, super far away. Email. Mail. Definitely mail. <laughs> Date available. Immediately. As I write this even. I love that. That's just so... That's so much now. I love that. Like when he first came to Earth. Social, social security number. Social security. Yes. Desired salary. I don't know. Is a million Earth dollars a fair amount? Position applied for. The prestigious role of intern at... To all of CatCo Worldwide Media. Typical one now. And... Are you legally el eligible to work in the US? Mm, let's go with yes. Have you ever worked for the company before? Nope. Have you ever convi been convicted of a felony? Not on this planet, no. Brilliant. I just think that's such a funny like little extra thing that they put in. I really appreciate it. And so we have like, you know, him as Mike, Kara and one hour training together. And so you know, it talks about, like, Kara, you know, trying to give Monel a normal life here, so he got um, a job, and she had immediate regrets, and uh, he had, and she had a bit of better luck with training Monel at being a hero, although, you know, not the best, but it took a while, as she says, so definitely get it if you want to read up on, you know, the different sort of backstories that they implant in these books, but this is, like I said, I have a couple of favorite pages but this is probably my favorite page this is super cool look we got all the photos of Monel and Kara together when they were in the photo booth let's see if I can get close up on some um, here yeah, so look oh I'll go off it now there you go Really nice <laughs> photos. I know they were briefly seen in the episode, but you know we get better quality here. You know them together, just having a having a fun time. Them like sort of cuddling, and then so there's a diary entry. Let's read this. So dear diary, Monel is arrogant, stubborn, unmotivated, and the last person on earth my parents would want me to be with. And to make matters worse, I think I've fallen in love with him. He's all of those things I mentioned, that's true, but he's also genuinely kind, sweet, good person. All the Daxamite bra bravado and that insultingly perfect smile. He might see himself as a grand conquering hero, but really he's a goofball puppy. 
typical car, a typical one out. I love that. One who makes me laugh every single day, whether I'm in the mood or not. So we went ahead and decided to try this out. Sure, we've already had our fair share of near-death experiences and interruptions from arrogant mag magical beings, Mr. Mix's pillar look, from advanced dimensions, but it also looks like things are finally lining up in our favour. I'm just really happy, that's all. I'm really, really happy. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go and find everything in my apartment made of wood and knock on it at super speed. I love that. That is my favorite page. I love that page. Let's see if we can get like a full shot of the page. There you go. Move my hands out of the way. Um, yeah, just love that. That's my favorite page for sure. All right, let's try and maybe find some, a few of the pages that I noted down. Oh yeah, the musical episode page is exciting. Um, here we go. So the music master, played by Darren Chris. We see down here we have uh, Kara and Barry as they watch everyone dance and sing, which was amazing. As most of you know, the musical episode is probably my favorite episode of all time on any of the shows, so that's very exciting to me seeing this and so I just returned from a weird dream world where people sang and danced on a whim. It was created by a being named the Music Meister, all of all for the amusement of him. It was a strange place that I went to for sure. While I lay asleep there in bed, Flash was with me as were foes, all singing inside my head. Alright, so let's move on to this bit. So in the end I discovered that I was indeed in love with mon -El. We woke back up on Earth, ready to send the Music Meister right back where he came from. There, that's better. I think it, I think I got it out of my system. So I really like that page, and, you know, it's very exciting. So let's keep on going on and talking about the different things. So if we just quickly take a look at this page and see what's going on right here. So we have Maggie and Alex all together. And what you see is, I had to say goodbye to mon -El today. He couldn't stay here. The air was killing him. I gave him my mother's necklace and kissed him goodbye. And I'm not ready to talk about it yet. So, yeah. Oh, they should have included the photo. At least they included it earlier. But that is not too humorous. That's a great couple of sentences so you know an inside look into Kara so what I didn't know at the time was that mon -El's rocket ship was sucked into a wormhole one that spit him out thousands of years in the future wow yeah you remember that all right so let's move on so look Alex and Maggie some good came out of the invasion Alex proposed to Maggie and Maggie accepted I'm happy that one of the Danvers sisters got a happy ending <sighs> no you didn't I'm lucky that's sad. All right, let's move on. So look, mon has returned, and we have the Legion of Superheroes in season three. There we go. And so on this part, so I honestly don't even know where to start. mon is back, he's here on Earth, and he can breathe in the air, and he looks the same. I should be ecstatic, but I'm not, because every because despite everything, I just wrote, one hour is most definitely not the same. Sorry if you can't particularly read it, but just like bear with me and look at the photos or something. Uh, while he was only gone for seven months for me, Monel was pulled into the future thanks to a wormhole in space. He was in the 31st century, living life, forming a group of heroes called the Legion. I have a hard enough time wrapping around my head with the time travel stuff. And then we'll just go down and talk about this. So that's it. My boyfriend is married to someone else. And I don't know whether to cream, scry, to, cr to cry, scream, or punch a hole in a planet. Sorry. Monel disappears. And then this Monel arrives with facial hair. That's a sure sign of an evil doppelganger right here. It's Sci-Fi 101 people from Win. Love that page. That's one of my favorite pages as well. And so we've got the massive crossover episode for Crisis on Earth X. So we have Overgirl right there. We got the wedding between Barry and Iris, Iris and 
we've got the Kara and Monel invitation that we saw briefly, but obviously Monel wasn't there, which kind of sucked for Kara, but you know, no one knew at that point. But, you know, we just talk about it. So it's always great to see your ex's name on the RSVP. Needless to say, I decided to bring Alex instead. All right, let's move on. So we got a rain page, which is exciting. So there's lots of stuff about rain that you can see throughout the book. And so, you know, Samantha's investigation to a puzzle led to her own Kryptonian headquarters on Earth. And so it just talks a bit about rain and you know, who she was. By the way, Rain is the best villain. Alright, so this is the last page I'm going to be going over, and we're going to end the video off right there. So, we have the Legion of Superheroes, you know, teaming up for the first time. We have Brainiac arriving, and so, the Legion was inspired by her actions. It's overwhelming. It's also frustrating that Legion couldn't give us any information about our time, like clues for helping us defeat Rain. So, then you see them all with the legion rings and so on and so um she just talks about the legion ring and how it can make them fly and so uh she talks about like how monel can breathe here in this time and what monel and i didn't know at the time was the legion had a secret hidden hidden agenda so that is basically it and there's just like a sort of episode guide towards the back of the book where it just sort of lists out the stuff that happens all the way up to season three. So it doesn't go to season four, obviously, because we're on season four right now. But yeah, essentially, that is the book. And I think it's a really good read. I, I love reading it. Hopefully you liked me going over some of the my favorite pages. Obviously, I can go over it everyone because you know what's the point in you getting the book if i just go over everything i just went over my favorites so thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy this video please be sure to leave a like and a comment and i will see you guys next time also follow me on twitter instagram i'm pretty active over there so hopefully you liked it it's something very different i never done this sort of like a book review i guess of sorts but yeah Thank you guys, and go get this book on Amazon or your bookstore or something. So, yeah, see you guys later. Goodbye.